Mr. Dunn, you're having been convicted of counts two, three, and four by a jury. Michael Dunn, guilty of three counts of second-degree attempted murder in the 2012 shooting that killed Jordan Davis. A guilty verdict for each of Davis's friends who were with him that night. But on the charge related to the 17-year-old's death, the jury could not agree. Based on the jury's inability to reach a verdict as to count one, I would declare that mistried. Following the verdict, outrage and disappointment outside the courthouse. Legal experts say the jury's initial request during deliberations to see this surveillance video, where you can hear the gunfire the night of the shooting, may provide insight into how jurors were struggling over the murder charge. The logic may be that they thought he did shoot potentially in self-defense and that there was a gap when he could have left the scene and then he shot again as the truck was getting away. Maybe they thought that was the attempted on the other occupants of the vehicle. Another possibility? The jury may have disagreed on whether Dunn was guilty of first-degree murder. And remember in closing, John Guy said, we don't want lesser offenses. We don't want a, a lesser included offense. We're not asking for that. It's all or nothing. That's what he said to them. He kind of threw down a gauntlet. The conviction on the other counts means the 47-year-old will likely spend the rest of his life in prison. He's going to learn that he must be remorseful for the killing of my son. Dunn could still face another trial on the murder charge. Davis's mother says their fight is not over. We will continue to stand. And we will continue to wait for justice for Jordan.